Today let's paint a winter sky. The color I'll be using for the sky is a mix of cerulean blue, sap green and turquoise blue. As usual, I first draw the horizon line. That's the line where the land meets the sky. Since it's a winter, I also want to put in a cute little hut. So I'm going to draw a very simple cottage kind of a hut. Along with that, I'm just drawing a dried leaf to give the feel of winter. Now I'm going to load my brush with color and starting from the topmost part, I'm going to start spreading the color. The top part of the sky will always be the darkest. Then I use a little water and pull the color down. Now I take more water in my brush and pull the color down once again in order to create a gradient. When I move closer to the house, I'm a little particular as to not paint over the house. So uh, you can notice that my hand is at the tip of the brush where I'm almost holding it like a pencil in order to see that I don't paint over the house. Now uh, the water seems to have come towards the middle so I'm just going to add paint in all the areas where I feel need more color and I'm going to touch up the top again to give depth in the sky. This step is not required but I just wanted to lift off some paint from below in order to create a gradient. So uh, there's no color in my brush and I'm just lifting off a little bit of color. Now that our sky is dry, we'll paint the cottage. I'm using crimson or dark red to paint the cottage. You can actually choose any complementing color that you like. Where there is a wall in the cottage, I am going to leave that place white in order to show uh, the dimension. So when you are painting this, just be careful to leave that section a little white. Now I want to add a little bit of snow on the roof, so I'm taking cerulean blue and just towards uh, the edge or the below part of the roof, I'm going to add a little bit of cerulean blue to show that there's a lot of snow. The snow, I'm using a negative painting technique where the snow remains white, so I'm only painting the shadows of the snow. Now I'm painting uh, a part of the door. I'm assuming that the light is coming from the right hand side. So the left part I'm making a deeper color. I'm also adding a little bit of a deeper shade on the left side of the house as well to give depth and light and shadow in the house. I'm using burnt sienna and using a really thin brush and just uh, putting on a little bit of broken lines to show a dried tree. This gives a nice wintry effect with a tree next to a cottage. What you see here is a dry brush technique. I've loaded my, color, my brush with color and then wiped it off on a tissue or on a cloth and just use a dry effect of the brush to show snow on my paper. 
so load your brush with color wipe it off on a tissue and then uh, put your brush on your paper and this is the effect that you'll get it's a very beautiful effect and we use it a lot when we are doing things like a rough surface which is land or we're just showing you know uh, like snow textures just going in and adding a little bit of depth to the snow by adding a little bit of darker regions on the snow don't be too particular here just go with the flow uh, it has to be uneven and imperfect now for the most fun part where i'm doing the snow in the sky here i take white color which is a gouache color in one brush use the other brush as a rest and hit it out to create snow you can go a little crazy here if you like and there you have your beautiful winter sky deja thank you for watching this video please hit on like and for more such videos please hit on the subscribe button below thank you for watching